Hello Aquarius, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person you are dealing with or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them and where is all of this headed next? As always, these readings are meant to be general so they will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Aquarius. For Aquarius. Spirit Angels God. What do we need to know for Aquarius? What do we need to know about what's coming towards them in love? For Aquarius. What do we need to know. So I'm doing a simple nine card spread. The first three cards will be what's currently going on in the connection. Next three cards are all about your person. And then the last three cards are about where all of this is headed. So current energies between you and this person. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Wow, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What do we need to know about who you're dealing with? Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Devil, Capricorn energy. And where all of this could be headed is the Ten of Wands. The Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Page of Wands. Interesting. Turned off my mic. <laughs> or like, flipped it. Okay, bottom of the deck we have Strength, Leo Energy. Okay, so Aquarius. What I see is that when it comes to your connection and the energies between you, there is a possibility here of a new beginning that's starting um, a new endeavor, a new adventure, something passionate, um, something new, Ace of Wands. Um, and I feel like this is because of the Eight of Pentacles. There's effort being put into something. Um, time, energy, dedication. Queen of Pentacles, definitely someone that takes their time. And I'm getting that message strongly with the Queen of Pentacles. Like this is something that's been carefully wor worked on. So I don't know if this is that someone has been working on themselves, has been working on this connection. Um, but I feel like there's something good happening because of that effort. Um, and I'm also getting that this took some time to develop. So this hasn't been something that happened overnight. Um, this could also be uh, someone new or a new connection that is starting for you, Aquarius. Um, it could be with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I have a lot of um, Earth here. Uh, so I, I'm getting almost like it could be that something is starting, especially with the Page of Wands down here in like the future energy. Now, when it comes to this particular person, um, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Devil, um, I think that this is somebody that has been quiet, guarded, reflective um, with the Four of Pentacles, Four of uh, Swords. Um, I want to clarify these because the devil with the four of stone for well four of pentacles but in this deck it's called the four of stones when i see the devil with the four of pentacles i always think of a little bit too much of a holding on energy like someone that cannot let go um but with the four of swords it just doesn't seem like this person is like being really forceful. So I'm, I really need to clarify and see what that's all about. And then where all of this is headed next, we have the 10 of wands. So I think there's some sort of burden or weight that someone could be carrying. Um, maybe something that has, like I said, taken time to develop. And so because it's taken time to develop, it's, it's, it's now become almost like something that needs to be let go of. It's, it's, I'm almost getting this energy of like, we've done enough carrying and we've done enough of the baggage thing. We've done enough of the waiting. Uh, now it's time to actually like do something about it. But the Hermit and the Page of Wands are here. So I get the sense that someone might not really be, it's just like they're taking the initiative to act but it's a small action with the Page of Wands. So let's get some insight into these energies. I have a brand new Stellar Energy Oracle deck, so can't wait to break this one in. Can we get some insights here on the energies of this connection for Aquarius? What's going on in this connection? What are the energies here between Aquarius and this other person? Okay, we have far apart. 
Distance is affecting your connection. Separation, divide, distance. Okay, what else? What else? What's going on here? Well, that makes sense because the Four of Swords and the Hermit is here. And the Hermit is very withdrawn. Reach out. Take the initiative to reach out. So I feel like someone wants to bridge this gap. Or at least reach out despite the distance. Taking action is at the bottom of the deck here. Hmm. Let's get some clarity. We get some clarity for Aquarius. Let's get clarity for Aquarius. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? What's all this effort, time, dedication all about? Okay, we have the Two of Wands and the Hierophant Taurus energy. Hold on, I have some card. Okay, Page of Cups fell on the floor. Two of Wands. Again, this energy of like something that's taken time to develop. Patience. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. I say Ace of Wands here. <laughs> Excuse me. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Knight of Cups. Okay. Yeah, I, I get that this is something new. Um, so someone's going to express themselves or, or express like an apology to have something new begin. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Death. Scorpio energy. Hmm. This is interesting because... I mean, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I have a feeling that someone might be telling you that they're still interested despite a change or an ending, or their feelings have changed. Uh, maybe this is someone's cha having a change of heart. Um, again, I, I get the sense that I'm speaking to a group of Aquariuses, Aquarians, um, <laughs> that this is someone new. They are turning from like friend to to interested person, like. You know, the change has been within, you know, they see you as something more than a friend. And so like with the Queen of Cups here, it's almost like, you know, emotions are very tied to this. Leon. Sorry, it's my dog barking in the background. I think it's the mailman. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is Queen of Pentacles? Now, the Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Um, this could be somebody working on a commitment or putting an effort into a commitment. But I'm also getting that someone wants to do things in a traditional way. So they're going to take their time. They're going to be careful. They're going to be dedicated. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely um, dealing with an Earth sign. Can I have one more for the Queen of Pentacles? Wow, Five of Pentacles and the Tower with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think that I'm speaking to an Aquarius where there's already some sort of history with this person. I'm starting to think that this Knight of Cups is an apology. An apology be and, 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 and a promise to change or improve or... Uh, a desire to have a new beginning here. Let's get some insight on this person. Tell me about this person. What Aquarius is Hazard will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? about this particular person what do we need to know water sign cancer pisces scorpio you could be dealing with a water sign someone with has water in their chart or they're exhibiting qualities of a water sign um emotional depth intuitive um
What else do we need to know about this person? Romantic, charming, and passionate. So this person has feelings for you, but I feel also like they have a goal. They have a goal in mind. Um, so let's get to it. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, they make a good pair. King of Pentacles is, for me as a reader, typically already in some sort of a commitment. So you could have already had a commitment with this person. Um, maybe you were married to this person because I have the higher font here. And so something could have happened, a tower moment, and this person wants to kind of apologize and start over. Um, for others of you, I'm getting that if you are single and this is someone coming in, um, it might be someone that you had a past with, or there might be some sort of something surprising or unexpected about this Knight of Cups. Let's see. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? King of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this was someone that was guarding their feelings um, or the truth and needs to open up. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Page of Pentacles, yeah. Tell me about the Devil. Tell me about the devil, the fool, breaking free, taking a risk. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil, four of wands. Okay, I wanted to clarify again with the devil because sometimes when I see the fool with the devil, I think of someone that might be a little naive and is getting carried away with their desires or what they feel is important to them, you know? But with the four of wands here, I'm almost getting the sense that this is someone that has thought a lot about this. Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands is here. Um, they're thinking of an offer. They're thinking of reaching out to make you some sort of promise or to express themselves. And it's with the hope that there's an Ace of Wands. But I think the problem is that there's a Ten of Wands here that needs to be addressed. Like there's some sort of burden or weight, a barrier, a challenge here with this Ten of Wands. Someone could be feeling overwhelmed. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Okay, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, and then we have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, with the Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I think that this is something that someone wants to move past from or away from with the Chariot. It's like they want to leave this Ten of Wands behind and start something new with the Page of Wands. Because the Page of Wands is about like taking initiative being excited, going after something new, being bold, fearless, willing to take risks. Tell me about the hermit. And then there's the hermit is like the opposite of like the page of wands. They really think before they make a decision. Tell me about the hermit. What's this hermit about? Oh, they're thinking about the past or about a special connection, memories. Tell me about the hermit. I think for a lot of you, yeah. I think this is them, I think the devil is representing that they're thinking a lot about what they want. A new beginning, a stable home, this page of pentacles talking to you about this. Why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here? Five of Swords. Mm. Why is the Page of Wands here? Queen of Cups. So, mm. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think this person, they have some sort of like idea. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Ten of Wands is telling me that there's a problem or a conflict here. But Whatever that conflict is, let me see if I can get some insight. 
Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Empress. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Six of Swords. I think something ended between you and this person. Death, Six of Swords, the Tower. And I think this person, they're trying to come back in, Aquarius. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like someone walked away from this connection um, because it got to be too much or something happened between you and this person. And I think this is someone that wants to come back in. This is all that they can think about is reaching out to you. They don't, you know, it's like they're distant from you, but they don't want to be. They don't want to be away from you. Can we get some uh, guidance messages for Aquarius? Any guidance messages for Aquarius? Take a risk, number 12. I got one more. I got one more for Aquarius. Okay, it's this one. Act now. Okay, so I feel like this is someone that's taking a risk and taking action. Um, I have half faith at the bottom of the deck. This is from my new edition of the Stellar Guidance deck, if you're curious. But I feel like this is somebody, this is your person's energy. Because they're thinking, reach out. They're thinking Ace of Wands. They're thinking Knight of Cups. They're thinking the Chariot. Page of Wands. They're thinking about taking action. And I feel like this action is going to be some sort of offer because it just keeps coming up. Um, and it's something that they've thought about for some time. And this is for an Aquarius that there, you already have some sort of history with this person. Um, I think also if you're dealing with like a new person coming in, because I still feel I'm speaking to a few single Aquarians out there. I think that this is someone coming in after you've had some sort of breakup or after you've had some sort of difficulty in your life or they have broken up with someone or had some difficulty in their life. Um, and it's like they're coming in because of how they feel towards you and they're willing to, I guess, prove themselves to you with the Eight of Pentacles, these of Wands. You're showing up as the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, so I feel like this person is trying to match your energy. And it's like motivating them to take action and it's a risk for them, whether they have a history with you or not. So I'm going to take this to the extended now. I'm going to get a little bit more insight on this, this tower situation and this Knight of Wands with the death card because I feel like this is kind of what's moving things along down here. And then we're also going to look at your person's true intentions, uh, maybe get some oracles on what they're thinking or feeling and uh, their possible next actions. I could tell you that this person will take some sort of action because of the Page of Wands here and the the, the Chariot. The problem is there's a barrier, and I think the barrier is someone's history. It could be the history between you and them, it could be a history that you have separate than them, etc. But that's definitely a barrier. And the distance, I feel. I mean, it could be even emotional distance and you know, rather than physical distance. So if you want to get more insight, then check out that bonus reading. It'll be linked in the description box.